when things are bad, we often have like this tendency to forget that it can and it will get better, that this is just a season, it will get good again. And whatever you're going through right now, this is a reminder for you that everything is temporary. Absolutely everything is temporary. Hello, my beautiful mommy millionaires. It's time for a quick mommy millionaire minutes. Okay. Oh, so I've actually been kind of, I don't even want to use the word insecure because I'm very careful about the words I speak out loud over myself. And so when I don't have anything positive to say, I'm kind of like quiet. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been having, I've been experiencing, been experiencing some issues with my jaw because I took the easy route. Okay. So there's a lot of lessons in today's Mommy Millionaire Minutes. First of all, I took the easy route. I had noticed that my teeth had started to get some crowding at the bottom. And I was like, oh, you know, I started Googling at home kits. Okay. Because I was like, I don't want to do with Invisalign all the time. And I found this thing called bite where you could do it just at night. Well, this is the huge, large infomercial to say, do not do that. (laughs) I spent thousands and thousands of dollars and it ruined my bite legit. And I now have a clicking in my jaw. And I've noticed on some podcasts that I now am like struggling with a lisp and sometimes even like slurring my words and not realizing it. And now I'm like super conscious of it since I had a recent like YouTube show go live and I watched it back and I was like, whoa. And I asked my assistant and she was like, yeah, I noticed that, but I didn't want to point it out. I'm like, uh, hello. Like you should have told me. Hello. Okay. Because I'm like, seriously, (laughs) I speak for a living. Like if something starts being off with my speech, like there's something wrong. Right. So anyways, like even when I'm talking right now, it's doing it, it's clicking. And it's not that I'm in pain, it's just odd. And I'm like scared to talk. Like, honestly, I can't, I can't explain it. Like I have this fear around moving my mouth now, which is not helpful when (laughs) you speak and train for a living, right? So lesson number one was to not always take the easy way out. If I could go back in time, I would have just gone directly to an orthodontist and just done it the right way either gotten braces or done some type of Invisalign that's monitored by a physician. This thing with bite, B-Y-T-E, has been a freaking nightmare since day one. Like, I'll tell you, it's like been the worst customer service ever. Like, I need to figure out how to give them like a one-star review on the Better Business Bureau because they're a hot mess. Anyway, my bite's all messed up and I was like, okay, I need to go to professionals. So I'm seeing like a jaw surgeon. I'm going to see a normal orthodontist. And I'm also going to an acupuncturist in two days. I always get my jaw adjusted at the chiropractor and I have for years. And anyways, I'm going to continue to do that. But it's like, I'm going to find that mixture, I think of Eastern medicine and Western medicine to get my jaw fixed. And I'm just praying that it won't be anything serious, obviously, to like get fixed. Some jaw surgeries, like your jaw is wired shut for six weeks. I'm like, that is not going to work. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus from coming into my experience, period. So all that to say, I've been having trouble because I'm like, I want to come on in podcast, but at the same time, like, do I sound funny? Like I am totally having a complex about it. And my sister, who's also my operations manager, she was like, that's exactly why you need to podcast is because you need to share with people. Like, even though like it's messy right now, I don't feel even confident enough to get on here and share the things I need to share with you all. It's um, I'm doing it anyway, right? I'm not giving into that feeling of fear. I'm not giving into that feeling of insecurity. I'm just going, okay, well, I'm going to do it messy. If I have a lisp, if I have a slurred word, sometimes it's like, okay, I know I'm doing everything I can on my end to help with that. And I still want to show up for every single person on here. And 
that's kind of the message is this is a temporary moment. It's like, if you read stories in the Bible, it's, I, I can't remember what verse, but it talks about like this too shall pass. When things are bad, we often have like this tendency to forget that it can and it, and it will get better, that this is just a season. It will get good again. And whatever you're going through right now, this is a reminder for you that everything is temporary. Absolutely everything is temporary. And what you want to do in your season right now, even if it's, if you're in a good season right now, right? Things might be going great. It's like, okay, when things are good, you should also prepare for a winter because we know that everything is cyclical. So that's why you got to make sure you have your finances in store. It's like when it's freaking the feast or famine in your business and you're feasting and you're in a good season, you need to be smart with your money and be making sure you're putting away money into assets that are going to cash flow for you in case your business ever hits a famine. Hopefully I pray it doesn't, right? You might just be feasted for the rest of your life, but at least you have those positive cash flowing assets that are also your cushion that you could fall back on, right? Everything is temporary though. I'm telling you like, because what might be working for you right now in your business, right? The thing that's like making it feast, that strategy might not work in a year. It might not even work in six months. So it's your job to prepare, right? And go, okay, what else do I need to learn? I want to be on top of the trends. I want to be the trendsetter in my industry. So who am I learning from? How much quiet time am I taking to assess my business and to work on my business instead of in my business all the time? When you have that mindset, right, of everything is temporary, you know, you learn to go, okay, it's good right now. It might not be good forever, but I'm going to enjoy this moment. And I'm also going to prepare for potential downfalls. And if you're on the opposite side of that, you're like, I'm in a freaking famine right now. I am in a drought right now. (laughs) Things are hard right now. And that might be you. And I, you know, my jaw situation, I I don't even want to say it's like bad because it could be so much worse. Right. But in my life, it feels like a big deal to me because it's highly affecting everything in my life. Right. It's like, it's like people that struggle with back pain. I have so much compassion for them because it's like everything you do is affected by your back. (laughs) You know, it's like, you're just walking, you're just sitting, trying to do your business and you have pain in your back. Like it's debilitating. So I have so much compassion for those people. Right. And it's hard to hear like, oh my gosh, this, this is going to be temporary, but it is because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a specialist. There's somebody that's going to be able to help you get from where you are right now to where you want to be. Right. Period. There is always hope. You've got to be living and breathing for that hope. And I love Love, love the story of Esther in the Bible. And, you know, Esther, she prepared for one year to go through this beauty pageant, right? And the king was going to choose his new bride out of this beauty pageant. And she prepared for a year, six months with like some lotion and six months with some oils all over her. Okay, that's how prepared this one was. And she won the pageant you know, she became this guy's bride and she was able to save the Jews from genocide. And she was also to able to save her. I think it was like her uncle Mordecai and give him a high place in this kingdom. Right. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Like how much favor was on her life, but she was picked up and plucked from nowhere. Like she was a nobody and she got ready to be a somebody. And so you might be in that season right now where it's tough, you know, and you're not having your somebody moment, but that's where you need to go and get prepared. That's where you need to go and go like, okay, what can I work on right now that gets me ready for my Oprah moment, that gets me ready for my today show moment. And it's interesting because right now I'm actually writing my book. And writing the book, I'm working with a ghostwriter. So there is a lot of talking that's happening. What's funny is you know, the last call I had with my ghostwriter, I had to cancel and we're having to do more writing back and forth because I'm like, I can't talk as much as I normally would. 
And it's interesting because it's pushing me and leading me into that kind of uncomfort zone because I don't feel comfortable writing. I feel comfortable writing sales copy, but I don't feel comfortable writing a book because I've never done it before, right? So it's pushing me into that uncomfortable position and forcing me to have to do this thing. And I'm like, okay, God, you're so funny that it's happening right now, right? Where I need to be introspective, where I need to figure out how to get what I want to say in my head that would be really easy to me t- for me to talk out loud on my podcast. It's forcing me to take introspective time to go, how does this look on paper? How does this translate with the reader? And it's getting me ready for the book to be a best-selling book in a year, right? And I think that that's how I'm kind of looking at this right now. It's like, okay, this is my season where I'm going to be talking less. I'm going to be writing more. And in a year is my moment, right? Like in a year is my moment where everything's going to be ready. Everything's going to be prepared. I'm going to be able to talk without pain and all of the things. So I wanted to share with you kind of my perspective on how I'm twisting it and going, how is this going to work for me? How is this going to be one of those moments where I look back and say, that was me being refined, right? That was me getting ready for my moment in front of the king, right? Like where Esther, she got ready for a year and it's like, okay, I got a year right now and I'm just going to get ready to win my pageant, to get on that best-selling book list. And yeah, it gets me even excited talking about that with all of you and just you know, putting that out there into the world and really claiming that over myself. And I hope that you hear hope in my voice and maybe even borrow a little hope if you're in a uncomfortable position right now. The uncomfort is there to teach you something. The uncomfort is going to stretch you. It is going to move you into the person that God has destined for you to be. You were not meant to stay stuck in your comfort zone where everything, you know how everything's going to turn out. That's not where you're supposed to be. You know, you're called to move in a new way today and move with that expectancy, with the urgency of that everything in your life is temporary. So I'm going to enjoy what I have right now, but I'm going to plan for my next upcoming thing because I know that this thing isn't going to last forever. So I'm going to keep planning, keep preparing and keep doing the thing and keep stretching myself, being ready for the next best moment in my life. (sighs) I hope this helped you. It's kind of a little bit of like therapy for me, honestly, to just be able to talk it out loud with you and point it out. Like, you know, if you're hearing it, here's what I'm doing to work on it. And, you know, ah, scary. And at the same time, I know everything's going to work out better than I can even imagine for it to be. So thanks for sticking it out with me and my fun little lisp that I've been having, even though some of you guys go, I haven't heard it, Kayla. And I'm like, and Chase hasn't heard it, but then there's other people people that are like, oh my gosh, yeah, it's so bad. (laughs) So I'm like, "I, I don't know. All I know is that I can feel it and I want it to be fixed. And so I'm so thankful for all the specialists that are coming together to help me. And I'll definitely take you on the journey. You know, the more answers I get, the more I'm going to share with you all and also help some of you guys hopefully prevent any of this from happening to you. Like do not use those at home kits. They are horrible for your teeth. So Yay. (laughs) If you love this episode or you want me to talk about anything, you know, answer any questions, please head over to Instagram at Kayla.craft and, you know, ask me things because I love to answer things about your finances, things about your business over on the podcast. And it really helps everybody. So I appreciate all of you taking the time to do that and being bold to even ask the questions too. So until next time, bye.